Hi guys, how are you? Uh, Philly Sophical here. I didn't post any videos because I just was just feeling a little funky. All right, I was feeling a little fucking funky. So, you know, I like to be genuine when I do this shit. And uh, it was hard to be genuine with the way that I felt. So I don't know if it has something to do with the energy on the planet or if it has to do with the full moon last night, but either way, I feel better today. There's a few things that, you know, I got downloads on. And when I say downloads, I mean like these aha moments when you clear your mind of why certain things happen either to you or to other people, or they're just kind of little, uh, little spiritual gifts from your spirit guides and ancestors to help you on your journey and understand why things happen. So I had to write them down because it was multiple. The first one is, is that your body is kind of like your car. It, it's your automobile and you can, you have the type of gas you put in it is going to affect how it functions just like your vehicle. I was eating a lot of junk food, a lot of sugar, and my skin was breaking out. I was tired all the time. I had fibroids really bad. I was getting headaches really bad. And I started eating healthier. I went, I didn't go vegan because I love dairy, but I stopped eating meat. Now I tested this theory and once you, once you, I, this is my personal opinion, once you stop eating meat for a spiritual reason, when you do eat it, you will feel whatever that animal felt. You'll feel depression, you'll feel anxiety, fear, you'll be, you know, I, I actually even got physically ill the last time and it was a filet mignon from Outback. So it wasn't like it was, um, you know, a burger. I haven't eaten fast food in a couple of years. That's a whole other reason I'm not even going to get into. I don't eat human beings. Um, <laughs> this world boy. But so you also, as you can get, your body can get hijacked when you're low vibing, which means when you allow depression, you allow negative thoughts, you're drinking a lot, doing a lot of drugs, not staying busy. Your body is like an open doorway for principalities, which is why sometimes people act crazy and we're like, what the fuck is wrong with them? Like, what happened when you have these moments of, like, rages? Narcissistic rage is different. That's just them not getting their way and stomping their feet like the big kids that they are. So you you have to keep in mind and be aware of where you're at mentally because there are principalities and spirits around us all the time. Some good and some bad. You'll be able to feel when it's bad. You'll feel tightness in your chest or like a pain in the back of your neck here where your neck hits your spine. You'll also feel major headaches out of nowhere. There's a video on YouTube that explains to you when you're getting spiritually attacked by a negative entity or spirit and where it hits you. It's not really my forte. I don't like to plagiarize people's things. So I just kind of like to make videos about my experience with what I'm going through and what some of you are going through or have gone through or are most likely going to go through. Another thing was narcissists have to cause dissonance between people so that their lies don't come out, which means they have to, they lie to everybody about everybody to keep their asses out of hot water. So they can't have these people now commiserating. So they cause problems personally between you and other people so that you can't compare notes and figure out that this person's been a lying sack of shit for most of their life because they can't keep up with their lies. They actually believe that their life is the lies that they told. They don't know what they like. They don't know what their favorite color is. They don't know anything about themselves because they take on the identity of other people in order to build solid relationships in their mind and get close to people so that they can in turn steal, kill, and destroy. So they have to create problems and they will, they will say some really fucked up things about somebody and be like, you know, that person stole from me, you know, or, or they're the one that stole out of your purse, you know, but I'll handle it. Don't worry. I'll handle it because they don't want that person confronting you because you'll probably have some kind of proof. If you're a smart empath, you will audio and video record just like they do to you and keep the vault. I call it the vault in my phone, right? And it's all evidence and I don't purposely do it. I only do it when I need to. All right.
right? It's all in defense. Everything that we do is in defense and not offense. Uh, okay, narcs don't mind wearing these masks outside because um, metaphorically, they wear masks their whole lives with their phony asses. You know, they're, they're known for shape-shifting and wearing a mask and when their mask falls off, when the empath actually goes supernova, there's videos about this as well, about the empath going supernova, which is really when the empath wakes up and has just had enough of whatever narcissist was sent into your life to wake you up, okay? When you do that and then you pull back your energy, they, it drives them crazy. And when you pull back your energy, all the lies that they told to make themselves look better now start coming to the surface, but you have to stay away from them. If you have children with them or you have to see them and like get children and, and you have to do it, it's called gray rock. I mean, you just say it as little as possible. You don't let them anything, don't let them know anything about what's going on in your life. Just keep it simple and be the mystery because they can't stand trying to figure somebody out. They like people who are easy to figure out because like I said, they're mimicking you to try to get into your good graces to build a false sense of trust. So they don't want to have to really work for it, you know. Us empaths, we don't really have to work to be who we are, we're just kind of who the fuck we are and that's that and they can't stand that either, they can never be that. So. It's really sad. It's actually sad. I wish that this didn't even exist because I don't wish this on anybody. But when people are deliberately trying to destroy people who are good to them, I have to say, like, you fucking deserve it at this point, okay? Uh, spiritually constipated, all right? My, my definition of being spiritually constipated is when, like myself, when you're being put and thrusted into situations by the most high in the universe to learn lessons and to be the lesson, and you're supposed to actually now make your test a testimony to help other people going through this, because I don't know where I would be if other people on YouTube were posting videos, and I was like, why are these popping up on my timeline on YouTube? So you become spiritually constipated when you hold these things in. It also doesn't help you heal, because a lot of times we're our best therapists, so when you say things out loud, it helps you get things off your chest. It helps you understand things better and more clearly than when you just say it into your mind to yourself. All right. Uh, oh. <laughs> Don't forget what it is you like by not putting boundaries up, whether it's family, boyfriend, girlfriend, boss, friends. It got to the point where I knew what everybody else liked as far as if I was ordering for somebody or buying a gift for somebody. But when it came to somebody saying to me, like, so what do you like? I, I was honestly at a loss for words for a while because I forgot about myself, which is what empaths do. I would say, go ask my mother. She knows me better than I do. And that really should never be. And that was a lie anyway. Um, my mother was trying to turn me into her. So I found out that that was a lie also you know, most narcissistic mothers want you to be like them or they want to be like you. When you're a drug addict and you're fucking up a lot, that's not the case. They want you to be whoever they want the outside world to see. And if they're embarrassed by you, they will drop you like you never even existed. You know, don't get angry at that. Don't get upset. Um, because people who do that are weak takes a real strong person to stand by somebody's side when they're down so don't don't get upset over that see that as a blessing it, it became a blessing for me because like I said once I walked away from my family is when I actually became the best version of myself so I didn't really want to make this video long uh, I'm not feeling a hundred percent I don't really know what it is but I just didn't want to leave you guys high and dry I didn't want to leave you hanging I appreciate everybody who subscribed to my channel big time I hope that I help some people a lot of people with what I've experienced and, and these downloads that I get throughout the day write things down in a book so that you can see how far you've come because most people don't want to ever acknowledge how far you've come they still want to talk about where the fuck you are in the past you are not your past your past does not define who you are right now okay you a lot of times we're so, as empaths, we are so focused on helping other people, but when you're going down in an airplane crash, okay, 
if you don't put that mask on yourself first, you can't save anybody else and shit. So it's very important that you make sure that you're healthy mentally, physically, and spiritually so that you can in turn help other people. Nobody would have listened to me and what I'm saying at this point two years ago, even a year ago, because I was high. So everybody has that that title, right? And that thought of you in their head that you're high. And these things that you say, they either can't be true or they're, they're fabricated. But now that I'm sober, I find that more people listen and they understand that I'm not saying this to say, look at me. I'm saying this to say, like, look at you, right? Because we're all amazing. We all have special traits. We just kind of forgot about them, you know? So I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day. I hope that you're loving yourself. Self-love is super important with this whole thing. Uh, taking care of your skin, your diet, just doing your nails, taking some time out for you as women, even men, just taking the time out, get a massage, like spend something, some money on yourself and make yourself feel better because no one's going to love you more than you, except for the one who created you. But you know what I'm saying? So I'm out. Mic dropped. Tea out. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you.